Last summer, during the Lambeth Conference, I met one of the most inspirational Christian leaders I've ever come across. Bishop Joseph Abba is the Bishop of Liwolo, which is in the southern part of South Sudan. Now, just two days after he was elected bishop, that whole part of South Sudan was plunged into the most terrible, destructive civil war. And so Bishop Joseph had to lead his people into exile. They now live in refugee camps across the northern part of Uganda. He's serving some of the poorest people in the world. But despite all this suffering and pain, what amazed me was the vibrancy of Bishop Joseph's faith and his real ambition for the kingdom. And now, as those people start to return to their country, as they leave the refugee camps behind and go back to South Sudan, he has the most wonderful vision of a nation transformed under Christ. His work is not just evangelism and discipleship and church planting. His vision is so much wider than that. He also is involved in education and healthcare, particularly wanting the best possible education for the young of South Sudan. He's involved in work of reconciliation, bringing together warring tribes. He wants to see agricultural security for his people and address issues around gender violence. His vision is for a nation that's rebuilt with Christ at the heart. And the more I spoke to Bishop Joseph, the more I began to see the possibility of a friendship link between the Diocese of Blackburn and his Diocese of Liwolo. Now, of course, those links are quite difficult to arrange, so I was delighted to find of the existence of a charity called Cress. You can look them up online if you just put in Cress UK into a search engine. They are a small English charity, but one that's present on the ground in the refugee camps in Uganda, moving steadily back to Luolo, offering real practical support as people try to rebuild their shattered lives and access proper health care and education. So this year, for our, uh, our, our Harvest Appeal, we'll be supporting the work of Cress. Now, the people of the Diocese of Blackburn are always monumentally generous when it comes to our Harvest Appeal. But I hope this year we'll be generous especially. I hope we'll be generous with our money, knowing that every penny that's given to the Harvest Appeal will go to a really, really good, strong cause. But I hope above all we're generous with our prayer and keep the people of Luolo Diocese and Bishop Joseph very much in, their, in our prayers as they seek to rebuild the nation. It's not often that we can find really inspirational Christian leaders. Bishop Joseph really is one. So I pray that we can support him, his priests, his people, with our generosity and with our prayer and really make a difference. <laughs>